Hey guys, hope you're doing good out there. So today what we're going to talk about is step two, which is accountability and community. Now I already talked a lot about community in episode two, which was overcoming the lie. We talked a whole bunch about that, so I'm not really going to get into that too, too much. What I want to talk about is about accountability. And what I want to talk about is James 5, 16, where it says, confess your sins to one another so that you can pray for each other so that you may be healed. And the right, the prayer of a righteous man, the earnest prayer of a righteous man will have wonderful results. So we talked about in the last video, I talked about um, where it says, you know, confess your sins to God and he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us for all our righteousness. So when we confess to God, we're cleansed and we're forgiven. Okay, when we confess our sins to one another, that's where we find healing. That's where the weight begins to come off and is lifted off that shame, the guilt, the condemnation, all those kind of things in regards to sin and regards to, you know, especially in different types of addiction, especially with, with you know, pornography or sexual addiction or those kind of things. That's when it really starts to lift off is when we confess it to somebody else. Now, you need to be the right people. We're not just going to go and share our stuff, share our junk with everybody. You need to find the right group of people or the right person or whatever to share those things with. But when we confess with each other and we're able to pray for each other, that's where the healing begins. Now, I have seen it time and time and time again. I've seen it in my own life. You know, I struggled with stuff for over a decade. I fought with it. I fought with it. I fought with it. But I wouldn't share it with anybody. I wouldn't share my struggle with anybody. As soon as I opened up and started sharing it with people, the first time was incredibly hard. I remember sitting outside of the group that I was going to be going into, sitting outside of my truck and crying for about 25 minutes and half an hour and just going back and forth and like, God, I can't go in there. This is going to be so embarrassing. This is going to be, I'm just, this. I, I can't go in there. And I ended up going in. I was welcomed right away. You know, we did the, the thing and then there was, a, there was a sharing time after. And in the sharing time, that was the first time that I really opened up to a group of people and I opened up to this group of guys and I said, this is what I'm struggling with, blah, blah, blah. This is where I'm at. And I just wept and wept and wept and cried. And after that, one of the leaders, he took me aside and he gave me a hug and he said, you know what? The first time is always the hardest. It's going to get easier from here. And he was right. And over the last, you know, eight or nine years, it's become easier and easier and easier to share my story with people, to share my struggles, to share when I'm going through things. Because by sharing them with each other, and being accountable to other people, okay, it brings healing. Because we were not meant to be alone. We were not meant to be islands unto ourselves. That's exactly what the enemy wants. He wants us to isolate ourselves away from other people, away from community, because when we're isolated and we're alone, we're vulnerable. But when we come together with other people in community, okay, and accountability, that's where the healing begins. That's where we start to see some of those things change inside of us and healing begins to happen, okay? And so I don't want to go into this too much today because like I said, I talked a lot about it in one of the other videos. So you can watch that video if you want to know more and want to know more details of what kind of people we're looking for and, and those kind of things to be accountable to. But I would just encourage you, if you're on this net, if you've already taken the first step, okay, which was complete and total surrender to God, and now you're moving on to step two. Step two is get accountable and get into community. Okay, reach out. I mean, you could reach out on here. You want to comment on here? You want to send me a message on here? Whatever, go for it. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to talk to you and try and help encourage you and whatever, whatever you're going through. But it's by sharing these things, it's confessing these things to one another. That's where the healing begins. Okay, so be encouraged. Do not be afraid, okay? The enemy wants nothing more than to keep you silent and to keep you in hiding. But once you confess these things to God and then you make the next step of you confess them to others so that others can pray for you and support you and heal you. And you know what? Maybe you're somebody, okay, who, you know, you've shared some of this stuff with people before and it did not go over well and you were hurt and you were abused and you were abandoned and you were rejected, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that happened to you, but don't let that stop you, okay? Don't let other people stop you. Okay? This is a this is from this is a scriptural mandate. This is what the Bible says. This is the process, okay? 
Healing comes through community. Healing comes through other people. And so if you're at this next stage, maybe you've been hurt before in the past. I know I was. Um, I've shared this story before. I'll share it really quickly. Um, when I was in my teen years and I was I was struggling with, with pornography and these other things and I was... I, I wanted so badly to share it with my friends and to tell you know my best buddies like this is what's going on with me and I remember we were out for a walk one time me and some of my buddies and and the topic of conversation was circling around and and you know it came up to the topic of lust and, and things like that and how hard it is and and some biblical characters that struggled with it and and I remember going this is my this is my opportunity this is my time I'm gonna say something and I was just about to open my mouth and start to share it with somebody. And my best friend pipes up and he goes, you know what, anybody who struggles with that or deals with that is disgusting and I don't want anything to do with them. Well, you can guarantee I shut my mouth and I didn't open it again for years to my own detriment. I allowed somebody else's attitude, somebody else's opinion to dictate me. And unfortunately, I ended up, you know, suffering for another two, three, four years in silence, not telling anyone because I felt like I couldn't. Okay, and so part of this whole thing, whatever it is, and this this doesn't just apply to that type of addiction. This can be anything. Is you have to remove the stigma, and you have to start confessing. You have to start sharing this stuff with other people. But you have to be careful who you share it with. You need to find trusted people. There's a lot of different groups and things like that out there. Hopefully, we can build a community even on here, where where we can do that. That's my hope. That's my dream. Um, but be encouraged, okay? Don't let other people's reactions stop you from growing and stop you from finding that healing that you need, okay? So be blessed, be encouraged. Watch the other video, Overcoming the Lie. That one talks all about community and the importance of it and that kind of thing. So we'll talk to you guys again soon.